Hey everybody and welcome to Tech and Fiverr. I know it's been days since I have not been active on the channel, but today I have some great news. Sony has just announced a couple of firmware updates. These firmware updates are going to make you feel like your camera bodies are now new again. In the past, we have observed such a trend with the firmware updates with Nikon and firmware updates from Fujifilm cameras which rejuvenate their old bodies by adding new features. Now this is a very welcome trend if Sony is going to set it up this way because we have a lot of Sony users who are constantly wishing that their cameras get updated to the latest in technology because the body is the hardware that the camera supports is very good hardware wise and technology wise the sony cameras have already been very very strong they have got excellent auto focusing system and with the new addition of ai auto focusing in the recent cameras they have taken a new trend and leap in the auto focusing area so what are the camera bodies that have been given some updates and love so it's the brand new Sony A93 as well as the A74, Sony A7S3 as well as the Alpha 1. All these cameras have received significant updates and we will see in a couple of seconds how and what type of updates have these cameras received. All of them have got some welcome features, some new additions and some improvements to the existing features. I am excited because I have got an A7R Mark V for which I am wishing that I get the LUTs feature and uh, it's not a bad idea to wish something for your camera. Almost all the firmware updates now have the camera authenticity solution from Sony which is called C2PA which means Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity. So if you have a Sony camera now it would be very easy to add the digital signatures for your content so basically what this means is it is going to prevent uh, your content and tackle manipulated imagery and the ai generated imagery or fake images that have been creating uh, some waves this year and the past year in layman terms what this means is sony's in-camera digital signature technology signs your images in real time as a part of capture this digital birth certificate is retained throughout any revisions of the image in addition the signature contains 3d depth information as metadata the depth information can show if the image captured was an actual 3d object or a photograph of an image or video now sony's solution also includes an image validation site which verifies your image even after edits have been made by C2PA compliant editing softwares. Sony's A74 has been a popular camera and it's one of the most used cameras and most purchased cameras by photographers. With that said, let's see what the Sony Alpha A74 firmware adds to it. So network streaming is directly available within the camera now. Cloud upload from the camera can be done directly. So that function is also available. Now MP4 uh, metadata will also save the lens model name information. Previously it used to not save it, but now it will. Uh, custom grid line license is now also available. So you can purchase those custom grid lines you also gain the cam id and real number support for playback so when you are doing a playback of the streams on your camera then you can see those features also creators app support has been added for the a74 now you can manage the a74 camera body using the creators app from sony so version 3 update from sony now enables you to see the wi-fi signal strength the maximum number of images in each folder has been increased to 9999. Add support for C2PA format as I just mentioned. Add support for custom grid line which is available as a paid license. It's not free so Sony is going to charge you some amount for that. 
fixes an issue where the time code wasn't always retained after a power restart so now even if you restart your camera it should be retained in the information also it fixes the issue where certain custom key operations could cause a restart so now it won't do that so these kinds of improvements are there and also improves the exposure stability when using extended ISO during movie recordings. So all these are welcome features for your Sony A7 IV. Now let's see what the King has received. So the Alpha 1 from Sony has received multiple updates and some of the notable features here are the new creators app support has been added for this camera, add support for the monitor and control app support has been added to relay the playback function as well as support for breathing compensation during playback and shooting has been added it also adds the sync release function that releases the shutter of multiple sub cameras in conjunction with the main camera shutter timing so basically you are going to click the uh, button from the main Sony Alpha 1 and it will trigger the click from the rest of the cameras as well So that is a trick. It's the welcome change for this camera FTP transfer has uh, been supported and you know you can narrow down the images to be played back during multiple filtering conditions and uh, You know there's support for image stabilization with body lens coordinated control. So both in camera ibis as well as the lens stabilization are now working in conjunction for a couple of uh, lenses you can check it out on the support page from sony website similar to the a74 we are seeing that the there are fixes for time code as well as the number of images that could be stored on a folder my goodness there are a plethora of features that have been supported in the alpha one now this includes support for USB streaming, now wireless LAN security, now support WPA3SAE. So all these kinds of uh, security features have also been issued and uh, available in this firmware. There have been significant updates on the movie front as well like 4K 30p support for DVC streaming and breathing compensation during uh, movie shooting has been improved so it does not show or drop back directly it is a smooth transition subject recognition frame display for the movies has also been supported now in this firmware so all these changes make your alpha one pretty much rejuvenated and a new body altogether i would recommend that you just do not copy any settings from your previous alpha one you just install the new firmware brand new from your memory card and let the camera be started afresh you can do your customizations once you are done with the entire setup and the new firmware has been added to the camera this will make your camera much much snappier faster and you will feel that it's already looking and feeling similar to what you had brought when it was uh, directly available to you from the factory let me know what your experience was with your update for alpha one in the comment section below now we come to the much beloved a7s3 and there is a plethora of enhancements for a7s3 as well so what are those so, so a few updates we have already seen for the sony alpha one and now we are seeing the same kinds of updates for a7 III as well so a7 s3 i mean so these updates are like for creators app support then uh, there is support for shooting and playback functions including breathing compensation relay playback functions camera support for c2pa has already been added in all the brands uh, and all the major uh, models of the cameras for sony Apart from this, we also see that it is the anti-dust shutter that has been implemented when the camera turns off and also there have been improvements in the video department. Most welcome, uh, you know, improvements by all the videographers there. So basically DCI 4K 24P upgrade has been provided similar to what we have seen with the ZV-E1 camera and uh, now 
their cam id and real number support has also been added in the playback this is again similar to what we saw for a7 IV and alpha 1 cameras exposure uh, during video auto exposure has also been dramatically improved the bugs uh, related to some fall in exposure or overexposure during shooting the videos has been corrected so raw files can now be uh, transported to your smartphone and uh, the camera is now made c2pa compatible in build the other features also include auto power off at high temperature and preset faces the update process for the a7 III is a bit typical because you need to first update your camera to the previous version if you haven't updated it yet so 2.11 version if you haven't updated first you have to update your camera to that version and then you have to install this current update version 3.0 i recommend you to visit the sony update website the firmware update website in sony.com so that you can get the clear cut instructions about your firmware update this is quite essential because we do not want to break our system and it, it should be updated properly in a proper manner. Once you update the firmware, do let me know the improvement that you have visualized in your new firmware. Let's now move to the Alpha 9 Mark III. This is a newer camera version and so it will have some less amount of firmware details or updates but as we know c2pa compliance has been added to all the camera bodies that sony has uh, released in the recent times so is what has been added to the a93 sftp support focus frame display extracting still images from a movie are also added with the a93 Apart from that, 180,000 of uh, shutter speed in continuous shooting at f1.8 or darker has been now made available, so users can make use of that part. Uh, max number of images per folder has been increased to 9,999. You can expect this firmware update for the A93 to roll out in early April when uh, you can see those changes and install the new firmware it's important to say that sony's recent firmware updates have nothing short of spectacular and these updates for the current breed of cameras is also a welcome addition welcome change be it a paid firmware but it is always welcome because with the firmware we are experiencing new features into the current or existing camera bodies and we do not have to go out and purchase a new body for those features so custom grid line support or maybe it is the wi-fi support these are all welcome changes that sony has been pouring on to their camera bodies we at tech infiwire hope that sony continues this trend and updates rest of the camera bodies that it has launched recently and uh, with that said some new features even if they are paid customers would be willing to pay for them and you know get those camera bodies updated so if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much i have added a link in the description box below on how to update your sony firmware check it out thank you